Hello guys, what's up? Tito2 Gaming here. Uh, today we're going to learn how to move objects via console command very very quickly. Um, let's start here. So first, if you want to do walls like this that look seamless, I'm going to demonstrate it to you on how to do that. So let's start. Um, we're going to build walls in parallel to that one so that we can see the difference. So there you go, first one, and then upper floor, shock floor, upper floor, shock shock. <laughs> um, okay, and then wall. Um, this one, then remove it. So you can see there is a really huge difference from that one to this one. So we're gonna move that via console command. So the quickest way to do that is to select this object. So this one, so make sure that you have that ID there. So you're gonna type in mod boss for modifying position and then the axis. So we have three axes, a, uh, X, Y, Z. So obviously you're go gonna have to move it down. So when you move it down, you're using the Z axis, so Z. And then it, when you move it down, the value must be negative. So negative uh, 25. There we go. So let's enter. Boom. You can see there, it looks exactly the same. So what are the other applications of this console command mod pass? So I'm going to show you here this one. So these floors are like impossible to put like this oh you see you cannot put it there so you're gonna have to move it up so let's move this one down first so i did this by doing this one moving this one up so there because i wanted to put floors there so that i, I won't fall to the water because i usually fall to the water there um so in order to do that you're going to select these floors and move it down like let's try moving this down by via 155 you see it's already down so our task here now is to align this one back to its original floor because you cannot put it there manually uh, it does not snap so you're gonna have to we're going to have to move it down let's say um 45 and it is it snaps so we're going to move this one up by 10 because it's I think it's 10 yeah it's 10 you can see there You've, we've done that one already we'll fix it so what will happen if we move things via other axis like let's click this one um, let's say mod pass x um, let's say 300 boom that's what happens when you modify it by x axis and then we can re easily return it by uh, putting back the value uh, in an opposite ch um, number um, and then what happens if we mod this one via y axis so that's your y axis there so let's return that one positive 300 there so i'm gonna show you another trick let's say an entrance door that door looks really ugly so let's try and move a doorway here so we're gonna put an entrance oh well you can't put it there um let's find another wall that works well for us um this one uh this one so let's move this one here first okay and then this one here so if we want to do entrance doorway uh, via prefab, let's say that's your entrance. You, you want to put this one, so you basically you can. You need to remove the lower foundation, and then add this one here. Or 
remove that one first there and then we'll put this one back here so if you want to do an entrance to your building that looks that is covered with foundations like that it seems really ugly when this space is there with the floors so the trick is and you have space over there too so the trick is to add a floor to the top so that it will seem uh, seamless and then another trick is to add a wall let's say let's say this metal wall there you go there so the trick is to use this wall and move it down by a z-axis uh, let's say negative let's say negative uh, 25 there so you see 25 and move more 25 more there you go so you see this looks so much better when you do that one way so you, you have your entrance here you can put doors there so that's the trick with uh, these console commands um, so thank you guys for watching T22 Gaming um, see you guys next time bye